Hi there, welcome back to ADSR FMA Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. Today we're going to recreate this chill out bass in FM8. You can download this patch directly from the fmhtutorials.com website. There's a link on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and recreate it here. Turn some of this processing off now, a bit of both bus processing on there as well and uh, let's create a new sound in FM8 go straight to this ops section gonna use six operators A to F for this sound and they're all gonna root through the filter so we can just go ahead and turn them all on root them through the filter and turn the filter on operator Z push that to the output of full volume 100 push the cut off up to full and the resonance of both the filters down to zero so at the moment we've just got this stat sine wave. So what I'm going to do here, I'll put a F, a sawtooth wave. Let's actually turn these other operators off for now so we can hear the sound coming together a bit better. And I'm going to keep the ratio around about 1. I'm going to detune it slightly, so 0.9996. So this is a sawtooth wave, key sync it. And I'll put a E. Let's turn that back on. Add that into the sound, go 0.5, and that's going to be a sign. And I'm actually going to go to this master section quickly, take the whole synth down by one octave. So that sign is now a bit more like a sub bass, really, for the sound. So this operator D, turn that on, and these can all go through to the filter at full volume. So casing this, this is going to be a sawtooth. And I'm going to take the ratio to 0 0.5008, so down an octave but detuned slightly. And I'm also going to take the detune a little bit further and use this offset here and push that up to 19. So got that nice kind of chorusy detune sound going on. Operator C, turn that on. That can go to the root to the filter at full volume, key sync it. And I'm going to use a second formant waveform for this operator and take the ratio to 1.5. It's got that nice sort of chord element happening there by taking that ratio to 1.5. It's actually seven semitones up from having the ratio at one. So, right, operator B, turn that back on. And again, can root to the filter at full volume. And take the ratio to 2 and the waveform to 1 plus 4 key synced and it's kind of giving us a like sort of organ sort of top end to the sound it's a bit like an organ in there now and we can root operator b into d at 23 that's giving us some nice frequency modulation and also push it into f at 29 And also C can go into F at 37. Finally, operator A, turn that on and take the ratio to, or take the volume, sorry, to about 64. And the ratio can go up to 3. And a temp format waveform for this as well. So a nice sort of crispy top end to the sound, key sync this. And I'm also going to rule this into operator E. About 26. So we can move back to this master section now. Make it sound monophonic. Increase the voices to two and then push the detune up to about 58. And then let's pan some of the voices up out a bit. So now 38 on the pan. I'm going to add this analog, push this slider up to about 67, 66. 
brightness just providing a nice amount of warmth in the sound I'm going to turn this portamento turn this on so getting a nice bit of glide in the sound maybe just push the time up slightly to about 34 right then so let's move to the envelope section just link all these envelopes drag the release out a little bit let's get a nice tail nice smooth tail on the sound move to this filter section now and let's activate this filter push this envelope amount up bring the cut off frequency of the first filter down to zero or even about 27 the spread of the second filter push that up to 100 and then we can just increase the resonance there to about 57 just past halfway filter 2 maybe similar on filter 1 just before halfway so 49 and now let's set this filter envelope up so go for a stabby sort of envelope drag that decay out a little bit and you notice I've not I've backed the attack off slightly as well so I haven't got that attack there and then if you notice that the start of the tutorial is automating this envelope amount which has quite a nice effect leave that around 60 for now we could also increase a bit of velocity here as well so we've got like a velocity sensitive filter envelope getting like different cut off frequency values here lighter and softer keys so let's go to this effects section now add a bit of overdrive in here bring the drive down to about 23 just past quarter of the way push that tone right up again bring that bass down and I'm also going to add a chorus in here keep the time at 20 and just push the low cut up a little bit so we haven't got any really kind of low frequency in the chorus effect and bring this dry wet down so it's a bit more subtle it's about 16, 17 so that's everything on the synth done but when I kind of put this sound together I thought it sounds a little bit too kind of crisp and digital so I wanted to give it a bit more of a kind of analogue flavour so use this Valhalla Valhalla Uber mod turn that on and I actually brought the width down a little bit so it's a little bit more centred the kind of bass sound the mix is quite high so quite a, a lot of chorus on the sound I just like the effect it had on the sound and also I'm using Fab Filter Pro C just to compress the sound because the volume the levels are a little bit all over the place so you can see got 2 to 3 dB of compression going on a slow attack quite a fast release so and it was just kind of keeping the sound in check a little bit more and then what I've done here is I've added a tape delay and I've placed a D an EQ after the tape delay to sort of sweep out all the low frequency out of that delay sound and then this sidechain compressor here so I've also sent the synth sound to another bus and set up a sidechain signal so this bus has no output bus 2 and then on bus 1 after the delay in the EQ I've placed this compressor sidechain to bus 2 so sidechain to this other signal with the synth being sent to bus 2 no output just using it as a sidechain trigger here and basically what it's doing is it's been the synth sound has been sidechain to itself in effect so what we're going to have is the delay is going to cut out when the synth sounds and then we're going to hear the delay in between the, the notes so so no you hear when I press a key this gain reduction kicks in so when I press a key 
I'm not getting any delay on the sound, so it's not muddying the sound up. It's just the delay is sounding in between the notes and giving us a nice kind of like effect, really. So give it another spin here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. Let us know. You can download this patch directly from the fmhtutorials.com website. Whilst you're there, check out all the other stuff we've got on there for FM8. And thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.